Okay, you guys, more Futurama, and we can only hope that the fate of the world is once again left at the feet of Fry's intellect, because <laughs> there's no way we could possibly be safer than that, as, as we saw. Amateur comedy tonight. Ah. And then they built the Super Collider. Thank you. You've been a great audience. <laughs> Heard much worse. I've done much worse. Veteran of four comedy traffic schools. Yeah. Get way up for Bobcat Zoidberg. Bobcat himself. The legend. Earth. What a planet. On Earth, you enjoy eating a tasty clam. On my planet, clams enjoy eating a tasty you. <laughs> Come on. On Earth, everybody is always looking for a giant squid. On my planet. Ooh. Reload. Reload. <laughs> That's why Zoidberg shows up to, to eat, to get fed. No combination of you should be a comedian. But comedy is in my valves. My Uncle Harold was a big Hollywood star. I don't star, think but... it is in your valves. Your uncle was Harold Zoid? Excuse me. This I cannot deny. Why, I've been a Harold Zoid fan since back when my hips were made of bone. As it happens... <laughs> Ah, that's a good way to recount the years. <laughs> a good point of reference. <laughs> Shouldn't call somebody's about to start cutting on you a buffoon. There you go. That's why. Ah, I forgot your hat. And they didn't have special effects. They didn't have CG back then, so had to really cut his head off. You're right, Krabby. He's a hell of a lot funnier than you could ever be. Ah. So I'm writing it in my own ink. Dear Uncle Zoy. That's disgusting. <laughs> now I am the most important doctor at the delivery company where I work. <laughs> at the delivery company, yeah. <laughs> Huge accomplishment. Mr. Funny Uncle, teach me the comedy business. Sincerely, Zoidberg. Uh... Yeah, you better run. <laughs> that was a run? Nice. Okay, here we go. It's a family thing. I'm going to Hollywood. <laughs> With significantly less money than the uncle's waiting for, I would say. Uses those searchlights to blind pilots, then film the resulting plane crashes. <laughs> Ahead. For B roll footage, I would take it. Are you my new hot water heater? No, I'm Bender. We met once, remember? <laughs> You're my new water heater. Nice. <laughs> I'm not interested. You can do that, right, Bender? Have you got an extra go-to 10 line? I said I don't need a bender. Bender? That was the other guy. My name's Boiler. There we go. Uh, thanks. Hey, call me Bender. <laughs> and full circle. <laughs> a still famous film comedian. And a rich, respected doctor with many surviving patients. Eating many. Real food. Well, many... Is a vague term. This fame <laughs> film has a juicy part for you. If you, you can completely finance, finance it with your doctor money. Yep. So, I get, oh, not much, not much, a million dollars. <laughs> then it's settled. Another blockbuster. You've got that. Pocket change, Zoidberg. Oh, what's with Monstro? He promised he'd give his uncle Zoid a million <laughs> bucks to make a. Ah, uh, Bender. And? And, uh, I guarantee it'll win you an Oscar. An Oscar, you say? That would get me out of this festering rat's nest called television once and for all. There you go, Calculon. Get out of the fast festering rat's, rat's nest. A chance to work with the legendary Harold Zoid. He's one of my great idols. There we go. And you say you can guarantee me the Calculon's Oscar? on board. You guarantee anything you want. 
Then yeah. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> ah, way to go, Bender. The Magnificent Three. Scene one, take one. And action. Take back your gilded <laughs> they have it, father. They don't have it framed at all. <laughs> caught, caught, caught it. Pui. I said this is a talkie, damn it. You've got to emote more. And you extras, wave your arms and make faces. Sir. There we go. We got it framed. You not as a... Yeah, that makes for much better background characters. <laughs> caught, caught, caught it. Would you show a little emotion? Well, editing is a long and expensive process, but we spent all the money on pies, so it'll be ready Friday. <laughs> well invested. I mean, the pies are what are going to put it into Oscar contention. That Oscar is practically on your mantle. I just pray they like me half as much as I do. <laughs> well said, actually, Calculon. I agreed to be your vice president, but I never... It's got the framing, the framing clause in there. <laughs> Seen on the Tar Channel. <laughs> I would sooner die, I would. Father, this is heart-wrenching. I... Uh oh. The president is dead. Congratulations, Mr. President. <laughs> and that's how we got there. Woohoo! Yeah, he's Way a go. visionary. The tar is too thick. Plus, I think I flooded it. Well, we missed the premiere and we're going to die. Might as well enjoy the sights. Oh my god! Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> With the club no less. Definitely sliced alone. Everybody remembers Harold Zoid. As a pathetic husband, I, they remember uh, again, me. I, As if a I'll never forget him. They remember me. Bah! It's better to die now. No. This is one death Dr. Zoidberg won't be responsible for. <laughs> for once, yeah. <laughs> All right, go Zoidberg. And now, the host of the 1074th Academy Awards, <laughs> Billy. And are the, are the ratings still sliding? Play tic tac toe again before we eat our Two shoes. weeks now. Oh, I always knew I'd die at the bottom of a pit, but a pit full of tar? Uh oh. What was that? A tar dolphin or a tar shark? <laughs> a tar dolphin. <laughs> the Los Angeles subway. We can blast our way in and escape. Star Trek, the Pepsi generation. They call me Mr. Pib. And Snow White and the Seven Ups. Snow White and the Seven Ups would still be way better than that Snow White thing that Disney was doing. That they, they didn't even release. And instead of the fifth guy, Sounds like... Calculon. <laughs> performance in The Magnificent Three. <laughs> These movies actually sound better than what Hollywood's making right now. And the winner is... Not Calculon. And the winner, instead of any of the nominees, is the legendary Harold Zoid. <laughs> you know, through all my ups and downs, I always thought the most important thing in life and the thing is, it'd Oscar. be easily acceptable because the award doesn't really mean anything anyway. Here, enjoy. Why are you getting upset? It's slightly less fraudulent for you to have it. Yes. Yes, it's a real beauty. I respect and admire Harold Zoid too much to beat him to death with his own Oscar. Ah, That's sweet. I'm sorry, sir. This is a private... Oh, pardon me. I see you're with Mr. Stallone. Uh, <laughs> it's all about who you know in Hollywood. <laughs> when, you, when you're tight, stuck to Sylvester Stallone's corpse, you get in places. <laughs> ah, good stuff. Way, way to go, Zoid. Uh, Zoid, <laughs> Zoid Perk's just 
<laughs> Such a pathetic loser. <sighs> and yet, for some reason, I don't have the same connection to him that I do other pathetic losers like Meg, Joe Swanson. 